Hello everybody, welcome back, new video. It's the 26th of September, it's the release day of The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom, and as you can see, I have my copy right here. I just left my local Best Buy probably about 45 minutes ago. I just got home and picked up the game, although I'm a little upset, I'm bumming out a little bit, because I actually did not get my pre-order bonus, which was a diorama that they uh, featured with the per you're supposed to get with the purchase but unfortunately they had limited supply and for whatever reason I didn't get one and that's kind of a bummer um, but I do have the game physical copy of the game here right alongside Link's Awakening so now we have both as you can see and I'm charging my switch I have it right over here as you can see I'm charging it right on the computer this is the base model switch I've had it for seven years this is the launch model I don't actually have an OLED but I plan on playing um, pretty much the majority of the game right in dark mode on the TV. Um, I, I mostly play in dark mode. So this is just a quick video showing that today is the day. Uh, Echoes of Wisdom is here and I'm excited. I'm going to pop the game in probably in the next 15-20 minutes. Um, yeah, so there it is. And I have it right up on my computer screen as well. And one other cool item that I actually snagged today alongside the game is this cool Pac-Man sign that I got at Hobby Lobby, which actually is right next to the my local Best Buy. So I just went in there, browsed around, looked at some Halloween stuff, and this Pac-Man sign actually caught my eye. It's, it was like $7. So later on today, I'm going to hang it up on my wall probably, but it's really cool. The colors really pop. You can see it right here in the light. So another cool cool, cool um, collectible. So yeah, so real quickly before I this is a short video just talking about um, the purchase. I have no real concerns going into this game. I haven't really talked about it on the channel, other than potentially the frame rate, because I do hear that the frame rate is um, not so great in the overworld, which Link's Awakening did have a few issues as well. So um, it all comes down to how frequent it is, how distracting it is. So I'm going to put out a video in a day or so, giving my impressions of Echoes of Wisdom in the first couple hours of the game. And if there's any frame rate hiccups or whatnot, I'll include that in my, my impressions. So hopefully it's not that bad, but I have been hearing that it does exist, it is there. Obviously when Switch 2 comes out with the backwards compatibility and you play this game in Switch 2, it'll be a completely smooth experience, I expect it to be, right? The Switch is aging hardware, so maybe that should be expected, but I'm just hoping it's not that frequent and that distracting. We'll see. But yeah, I'm excited about the game. Uh, again, I'm, I'm putting it in in the next 15 minutes. I'm probably going to play for a few hours, and then... Pretty soon I'll put my impressions out. It looks great. I mean, I was impressed right from the initial launch trailer that you get to play Zelda. You had this new mechanic involving the Echoes and the Tri-Rod. And I, right out the gate, I knew that this was going to be one of the most ambitious, if not the most ambitious, 2D Zelda games ever made. Now I'm hearing things like the map is eight times bigger than uh, Koholint Island from Link's Awakening. You got the Rift World. You got, I mean, there's a lot going on in the game. That's it for now, and uh, stay tuned for a future uh, video in a day or so, giving my impressions of the game. Thanks for watching.